after my early morning run. My foot hit some debris, I went down flat on my face. I lay there for a couple moments in pain and slowly turned on my back ready to get up. I opened my eyes and I forgot about everything else. Because there stretched above me was the clear beauty of a winter sky. I thought of the words, the heavens declare the glory of God. The skies show the work of his hands. There were so many things going through my mind. Words like bright, awesome, powerful. I thought of the African man in the book Roots who took his newborn child out to the field and held him up to the night sky and said, behold, the only thing greater than yourself. Many cultures throughout history have looked to the skies and they wondered, where did this come from? They've seen the power, they've seen the might there. They've realized that something beyond themselves had to have done this, but they couldn't figure it out. Very often they'd give deity to the stars that created things themselves. For example, the ancient Egyptians. They had their sun god Ra. They gave Ra the head of a falcon. They gave Ra the body of a human. They said that the sun rose and fell as Ra sailed his boat across the, the sky. There were two problems these cultures had in common. First, the people misinterpreted that which was created for the creator itself. They were content to give their homage, their worship to the stars. It's an easy mistake to make, focusing on that which we can see rather than that which we can't. The Book of Romans speaks of this when the writer says, they exchange the truth of God for a lie. They worship the created things rather than the Creator. More fundamental problem was that, as the Bible says, the heavens declare the glory of God, but as good as it sounds, what does this really mean? What does the sky tell us? Assuming one looks to the sky, and honestly sees the power of a creator, what do we know about that creator? We see the beauty of the sky. We see the regularity of the movements of the sky. We see the power behind it. Rationally speaking, whatever created that must have that same beauty, must be even more organized, must be even more powerful. But that's about it. That's about all we get from it. The skies don't tell us anything more about that Creator. To the rational human, the heavens give us more questions than they give us answers. We know there's something up there, but what in the world is it? Well, the good news is there is a God up there. There is a God who has rationality. There is a God who has personality. There is a God who wants a relationship with us. Even better than that, we can know that Creator.